Hi there, I'm Ben Bolin. Have you ever noticed that sometimes you can get stuffed up in just one nostril? Well, the good news is that not only is this absolutely normal, it's also actually good for you. We've teamed up with the makers of Sudafed to show you how and why you feel it more when you're dealing with sinus issues. And here's the kicker, this is happening all of the time. If you're like most people, you're always breathing more heavily through one nostril than the other. Your nostrils also shift the workload back and forth in what's known as the nasal cycle. So think of it this way. Think of your nostrils as two mm -hmm. co-workers at this assembly line that never ever stops. Every so often, one of those guys lays back to rest up. It's almost like he's on a lunch break while his buddy fills in for him. And once that break is over, they switch places with the assembly line, your breathing process, running uninterrupted the entire time. This is an unconscious process governed by your autonomic nervous system, the same system that controls other automated body functions, like your heart rate or your digestive process. In the case of these two coworkers, however, when we are suffering from sinus issues, this process operates as if one of them is sort of distracted from the assembly line by a stream of never-ending text messages, you know, like so, while his partner takes lunch. Let's look at the inside of a nose to see how this works. No, no, not my nose. Can we pull someone else's up on the screen? Perfect. Okay, so this is your nasal cavity, closely associated with your amazing sinus system. Inside your nasal cavity, there are things called conchi or turbinates. These are bony projections covered by erectile tissue. Turbinates on one side or fossa will engorge with blood in a process known as turgescence which is a fancy word for swelling. Turbinates on the other side will decongest by shunting blood away. A few hours later and boom, they trade places and the cycle begins anew. Although you may not notice it, this nostril switcheroo happens several times a day and there are good reasons for your nostrils to share this workload. First, this improves your sense of smell. You see, different scent molecules have different rates of degradation, and this affects how our scent receptors detect each molecule. For instance, some scent molecules are easier to detect in a fast-moving airstream, like the air moving through your decongested nostril. Others seem more easily detected in a slower, going airstream, like in your congested nostril. Second, nasal cycling is also a form of maintenance. This alternating pattern of congestion gives each nostril a break from the constant exposure to outside air, and it also prevents the insides of your nostrils from drying out. So voila, there we have it. One stuffy nostril isn't anything to worry about. In fact, it's a sign that your body's nasal cycle is in tip-top shape. We just tend to notice this congestion more when we're dealing with sinus issues because the stuffy nostril feels, uh, well, extra stuffy. It's a scientific term for you. If you're like me, this subject probably makes you hyper aware of your nose. In fact, you can probably feel one nostril more congested than the other right now, right?